Guitarlessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at Scuttle Button by Stevie Ray Vaughan. So this one is in uh, it's tuned down a half step, just to start off here. So I have those notes. Uh, it's just tune every string down a half step, like uh, SRV did all the time. Now um, there is some debate how this main riff is played, um, and it's a valid debate because uh, uh, Stevie Ray uh, really kind of did a number on us. I've taken this opening lick here, which is repeated many times throughout the song. I have isolated it, I have looped it, I have slowed it down to like 35% speed. On the actual recording, there is a very definite sound of a bend, not a slide like I just played there. Now live, Stevie chose to do slides almost exclusively. Um, but he would mix in some bends, he'd do the riff as a kind of a bend version of it as, every once in a while as well. So, you choose to play, it sounds great, it's fun to play either way. You can do it as a bend, or a slide. They both sound great, and they're both so similar sounding, when you get it up to speed, it, they both sound very... Now, there's, it's a little bit more difficult on the left hand to do the bends, um, but when you're doing the slides, it's a little bit more awkward to time it with the picking hand. So they both have their pros and cons. So I'm going to show you how he actually played this live first. So this opening lick here is going to start like this. So he, he does pretty much just uses his middle finger for every note. You're going to slide from two to four on the G. And then the open B string. Then the open high E string then the open B again. Now, how you pick this is what's going to make it, if you try to alternate pick it, it's going to be pretty difficult to get it up to speed. The way I'm doing it, I'm going downstroke down the G as you slide up into another downstroke on the B. And then go around the high E string, hit an upstroke into another upstroke on the B string. So it's like down, down, up, up. So you can just really kind of kind of graze over the strings. Then from there, you're going to slide from a three to five on the B string. Then the high E string again. So that's just, and then you can, um, you're going to hit the high E string with the upstroke, and then down up three to zero on the B string. Then pick the uh, third fret there on the G string. Slide down, pull off to the open string, over to the second fret on the D. So if you wanted to do it as a bend, just replace both of those slides with a whole step bend. So after you hit that, Off to the you know land on the second from the D string, then you hit the low E open. All right. Now Stevie Ray he would usually play these top two notes. Now was basically this. This just his pinky bar across the uh, the B string and the high E string across the third fret and then the second fret there on the D. But he's really kind of just focusing on the low E string. And those top two notes. Now, how he played that rhythm too was a little bit different than probably feels natural for most people. He would play the low E string, then kind of pause, and then hit with an upstroke first, and then end it with an upstroke. So, like, like this. So he's kind of just really muting the strings down here just to keep them from ringing. And then back to that same lick. Resolve to the same chord again. Then we're back to the same lick again. 
Then you're going to take it to an A uh, dominant seven chord. So it's just a, like an A major chord with the um, the third fret there on the high E string. And we're going to play the open A now. Now once again, he's just focusing really on the A and then the top two notes, top two strings. And then back to the same riff. Back to the previous chord. And then back to the same riff. Then you're going to go to this. So we're basically just going to be playing here this is the second fret there on the A, first fret on the D, second on the G, uh, and third on the B. And then end it with the same riff. Into the same chord. All right, so all together real slow. Now, I know that wasn't very slow, but it's a lot slower than the actual recording. So if you can play along with that, just practice that and get it up to speed. Now, he plays exactly what I just did. That's really just the intro section. It's really the main riff of the song. Um, he goes through that exact same thing again. So I'll do those same, same, the same riff in between those chords, same exact thing. All right, so then at the, uh, where are we at here? The, the uh, 35 second mark, we finally starts changing things up a little bit. It sounds like this. All right, so he's flying all over the place there, but we do have some kind of similar things still going on here. So we're going to start here with just a couple. You're sliding. You can basically pick the third fret there on the B string, sliding up to seven. I mean, sorry, sliding up to five, and heading the open high E string with that fifth fret. Kind of a unison note thing. So you slide up. Hit those two strings twice, then do it again. Hit it like three times, and then. So that's the second fret on the G, and we're on the first fret. You just kind of pick across the top two strings a bit. And now he has a really kind of quick lick. All right, so that's going to be a bend at the third fret on the um, on the B string. This is at the like the 38 second mark here. So that's the bend. High E string now. Then 3-0 on the B string. Then pull off. I mean, I mean slide down 3 to 2. Pull off the uh, open string on the G string. Then over to the second fret on the D. So probably have this. Then you're gonna pull off three to, I mean two to zero on the G, and then over to two to zero on the D, and then you're gonna do a hammer on now on the A string zero to two, and end it at the second fret on the D. And then we end that with the, that same chord that we've played before. Then he goes back and does some more of those slugs. So when he's doing this, he's play, he starts with the third fret again, sliding at the five, but he has the open high E string kind of being hit each time. So you basically hit the three and the zero together, slide at five, and hit it with an upstroke, you just repeat it. And that's a little quick little fill that ends it. 
that's going to be a pull off um, uh, two to zero on the G over to two on the D string, then open G, and then back to that. Let's try this. All right, now we have another fill that's a little bit different. This is about the 48 second mark. So that is going to be a, a full bend there, the second fret on the, uh, on the D string. Then the open B, open high E string. And then third fret bend there, the uh, B string. Open high E string, pull off three to zero on the B. And then kind of a similar lick that we're ending here. Three, slide down to two, open G. Over to two on the D. And then pull off two to zero, two zero on the D. Into the second fret there on the A string, which is gonna leave us to take the rest of the chord. And then you kind of go back into that same. So we have this. All right, here we go into something a little bit different. All right, so that's up at the, the 10th fret on the high E, 12th on the B. Then go down to the nine on the high E, 10 on the B. Then seven on the high E, eight on the B. And then. So that, and then. That's gonna be the two zero on the uh, G, and then you're gonna play the double stops here. Second fret on the G and the B together. Then the strings open. Then two zero on the D. Down to the low E O's, open. So that's the end of that section. All right, now the next section's got some stuff that kind of moves around a little bit, and it's gonna start at the uh, the 54th second, 54 second mark, and then it kind of moves up to the 12th fret here. So it's kind of we're gonna break it break it up a little bit here. So it sounds like this. <laughs> So that one, uh, it's got some new licks in it here. We're gonna slide into the... So that's the first phrase. It's the sliding into the double stops on the 12th fret across the B and the high E string. Hit those three times, and then the double stops here at the 14 on the B and the G. Then the, four, uh, the B and the G double stops at the 12th fret. Down to the 14th fret on the D. Back to those double stops at the 12th fret. All right, then he does this first little lick. So that's going to be a bend at the 14th fret on the G string. To the 10th, uh, 12th fret on the B, roll over to the tw uh, 12th fret on the high E string. Back to that 12th fret on the B. Whole stat bend there to the, tenth, the 12th fret on the high E string. So So the second phrase is this. So that's the, starting the bend again at the 14th fret. Then you're gonna roll the other direction here, the high E string to the B string. Into that uh, 15th fret bend again. Then just go down the scale. You're going to start at the 12th, 12th fret on the high E string. That's going to be 12 on the high E, 15, 12 on the B, and then bend and release at the 14, pull off to 12. So we have this all together. So from there, we have this the double stops at the 12th fret again. Down to the 14 on the D, then the double stops at 14 again, down to the double stops at 12, 
and then 14, 12, 14 on the D. <laughs> All right, now we have uh, kind of. Now here, what he's doing is he very lightly. You hear him um, put his thumb at the twelfth fret there on the um, on the uh, low E string. Uh, it's kind of a difficult position, especially if you're sitting down, actually. So we're gonna have the eleventh fret there on the D string, twelfth fret on the G. So you're gonna do that chord, then pick it, move up one fret. And then slightly muted your thumb there on the low E string 12th fret. And then go do those, do that little double stop thing twice. So this. One more time. And then we have this fast little repetitive lick. So what's going on there? It's the 10th fret. He's, he's backed up to the 10th fret now with the index finger. And then the 11th fret on the G, and then slide it up to 12. So you're just picking 10, then play 11, and then slide the 11 up to 12. So. And then resolve it by moving that double stop back up to the 12th fret here, and the 13th fret on the G. All right, the rest of it. You guys get the idea. So we're gonna start here with that. Kind of probably a good stopping point here. After you get to that double stop, it's just right here. You're gonna go to the double stop at the 14th fret, down to the on the on the cross of G and the B there. Then roll over to the 14th fret on the D. And then a quick little hammer between. Uh, it's just really a grace note hammer between 12 to 13 on the G. And then 14, 12, 14. When you play that 12, add a little bit to it. Kind of slightly like a quarter step bend there. So we have this. Once again, grab the low E string 12th fret with, uh, with your thumb. Then the 14 to the cross the G and the B again. Down to 14 on the D. And now you can do that little quick little um, camera again, but you're gonna add the B string in there too at the 12th fret. Just kind of a double stop, then hammer on the 13th fret of the G. So we have this so far after coming up from the, the double stops here. So after you do that little double hammer on, we're gonna pull off real quick, 14 to 12 on the D over to 14 on the A. This is definitely the hardest section to kind of memorize because he kind of gets all over the place. So, so far we have this. All right, and then we go back into those kind of the same licks we did earlier. So it's whole set bend at the 14th fret to the 12th on the B, 12 on the high E string. Then the 15th fret bend in. Over to the 12th fret on the high E string. Do a quick little pull off, 14 to 12, into the bend again at the 15th fret. Then you just hit those double stops a couple times at the 12th fret. And here's where he speeds up. Now this one's kind of a little bit of erratic. When you get down, slide down to the second fret, hold off to the open G, over to the 12th, the second fret there on the D. Back to the open G. Then he does a quick little kind of sliding up to three, back to two, and then pull off to the open G. And then you're gonna, after you pulled off to the G, you go back to the second fret on the G, pull off two to zero, pull off two to zero on the D, then hammer. Um, Zero to two on the A, and back to that two on the D. So, it's kind of fun when you get down to that part. Just kind of add as many notes as you want, and then. 
All right, so coming out of that, you're gonna... Kind of, if you don't really finish that riff, and it goes into this next section, which I kind of call uh, the E, kind of a, he starts bending into an E major blues section. So we have... So it's kind of similar to the, some shapes that we did earlier. So this section happens at the one minute and 11 second mark. So it's the same double stops we did up here. Earlier in the song. But when we get to the seventh fret there on the uh, high E and the eighth fret on the B, we're gonna kind of hold those. Kind of pick in the B string and bend in it from that G up to a G sharp. Which makes it E major. So, so after you do the bend, you hit the seventh fret on the high E. And then we have. So it's 10th fret, the little melody goes on the top at the very end. Now I still hold the eighth fret on the B string. This 10, 9, 7. All right, then there's this little lick that comes in. So right here, he's just sliding into the, um, once again, he's kind of sliding into A major, the major four chord there. So, so we're sliding four to six on the G string, then the, uh, the um, B string, fifth fret, over to the fifth fret of the high E string. Then you do a, go back to that high E string, fifth fret, do a quick little pull off, six to five. Back to that bend there at the the eighth fret there on the B. Then you just kind of do the, these double stops here at the um, the fifth fret across the top two strings, and then he just goes into just sliding two to four there to the top two open strings, and then. So this is looks kind of similar to what we did before, just three to two, pull off, and then repeat that, to pull off two to zero, the second fret of the D. So this is just kind of just a basic E blues. All right, so coming out, out of that, we just basically, you can end it with this. So that, that little section right there just ended with a lick that was very similar that we did. It was at the 48 second mark in the song. So after you've done that. It's, it's the lick that led us to this chord. So go back and check out that lick. He added one note to it though. And the lick before was went right to that bend. This time, he goes back and hits that open B again before he does that bend. So he adds one note in there. And then we just end that with this, this section with the same, the same as the main rhythm. All right, now we get to the end of the song, and the end of the song is just that main riff section that we did at the beginning of the song two times through. This time, just done one. So the only thing that was different is that little ending there where we just take it up to the 15th fret there on the B string, double stops. It's the same rhythm though. So the, the double stop there, the 15th fret, across the B and the high E string, open E string still. So you just really kind of mess with that low E string and that same rhythm just in those top two strings. And 
and you're done. So it's a very fun, it's less than two minutes, ton of notes, but the good thing is there's a lot of repeated stuff. There's only a couple sections where if you really want to play it note for note, which he really never did, um, uh, you can just kind of, um, it's kind of difficult to memorize. Or you can just say, I'm just gonna play E, uh, E minor blues, and those sections right at the 12th fret, and then down here in the open position. Um, that's really where he kind of messes stuff around. Everything else is, uh, you know, pretty well repeatable. You know, he, he repeats the same licks again and again, so it makes it pretty easy to memorize. All right, hope you guys have fun with it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.